welcome back to another video of Big Dog Fishing Adventures. Today we'll be doing a little bit more boat building. Over the past few weeks we haven't really been getting much done because the weather's just been so good. We've been fishing, swimming, going to a few parties, so all that good stuff. So today we thought, well, you know, it's a little bit overcast, not that nice of a day. We may as well go in the shed and smash some stuff out. Yeah. So what are we going to do today, Bluey? Well, our plan today, we're going to put the gunnel covers on and then in the future we're going to drill holes in them and fully foam fill them. So that way, in the future, the boat's basically unsinkable. We feel safe in it. So when we take it offshore, you know, we got, you know, we feel safe in the thing. Yeah, get all the stability and stuff. So, and we'll also probably keep working on the bow with all the sanding and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's been a we big got job. plenty to do. So we'll just keep chipping away at it and see where we can get it, yep. where we can get it all done today. So, what do you reckon we get into it? Sounds like a plan. All right, let's go. So what we're doing now here is we're going to uh, weld in the bottom bit of the gunnel. So Ben's going to hold it up and I'm just going to hopefully punch a few tack welds in. That should hold it into place. And then as you could imagine it, see the lines on the side there, just under here, those engravings, that's where we're going to have to line it up against. So Ben will hold it up against there. I'll punch in a few hot tacks, just try to hold it into place. And then that's when we can slowly work. We'll start from the bow and we'll work down. And then once we get that in place, that's when we go and we put in the bit that covers it all up and then we put the holes in. So, you ready, Bluey? We hold it in place and I'll, I'll get it. When you're ready. How does that look, eh? Hey? Yeah, not bad. Let's get it out here. You ready? How's that going? Yeah, feel alright. Sitting pretty good. Alright, we'll keep moving down, keep putting a few more in and get around the place. Oh, it's hot. Very hot. Alright, you want out and you tell me what you Happy with that? Yep. Okay. Are you ready? Alright. All good? Yep. Yeah. Come over there. All good? Yep. Yeah. So now we're gonna get the side bit, the text from that to that. It's a bit of it's gonna be a hell of a job, isn't it, Harry? There's a few bends you're gonna do. Just to fold in around there, under here, and then you gotta make sure it all lines up, so. I'll try to hold it in place and try to bend it while Harry whacks a few tacks in so I can just sit there. And then at the moment we're just tacking it and then just so we have a bit of you know leeway so we can move it up and down and you know get the angles right. And then after that we'll just stitch weld under here so it's all supported and it's all you know very very strong. So I'll we'll try get it up and curve it, Harry. Yeah, give it a crack. And uh, get you to weld them in. Yeah. So basically what we're using the clamps for at the moment, as you saw at the start, we did one little tack here. And at the moment what we're using the clamps for is bringing the bottom plate to the top plate. And what, as we've done that the whole way down, just clamping it in so it meets, sits flush. And then the big dog does his tacks and we're just going to make our way down. And so that we've got that curve looking beautiful now, Harry. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much just bring the side plate with the top bit. You want it so... There's a little bit of like a ledge there, and then that's what you run your weld through. You don't want them sitting, you know, flush exactly, or you're not going to get any room to fill in. So we're just going to do that all the way down, and then at least get it into place, and that's at least one bit of the job done. So oh, yeah. we'll keep putting them in. Good, but we'll just bring it in a little bit. Bit of pressure there. I'm right, just whack one there, H. How's it looking? Yeah, good. It's feeling solid. Solid. Now. It's good. Nothing's popping, so that's a good sign. Yeah. Just bring this one in a little bit. Just a bit out. Do one more here, Harry, and then flip the clamp over so you've got a bit of. Then we have to figure out how to drop this a little bit because uh, 
see how you're talking about that ledge there before it's sitting flush so we can't really fill any weld in so we'll figure that out yeah got bloody clamp galore going on at the moment. We've got like five or six clamps trying to hold everything in place. But we're happy with everything sitting and Harry's just gonna whack those tacks in so that it stays like that and stays perfect as it is. So I'll just push this in a little bit Harry so she sits all right yep. when you're ready. Bloody hell, I've got to work on all this. Tuck her in. All right, you ready mate? Stuff, I can just do I'll get one in there if you can. I'll yeah. leave that clamp out your way. Let's see how we go. See if I can. Bloody clamp Obstacle course at the moment with everything going on. Yeah. Alright. Is that all happy with that, H? Yeah. That's just right. You ready? Yeah. So, as you can see, we've got the final bit of the side gunnel in here. We've had to cut it so you know it measures up nicely because you know not every piece just sits flush. So I've etched it up all nicely, got it sitting well with the top plate as well. So I'm going to go in, chuck a couple of tacks on the side, some on the top and then that pretty much completes it. So let's get these done and then we can have a bit of a break. Run a, little, run, a few, run a few along the top, and we're good. That's a bit better. Sometimes you don't always get a good tack where it's only kind of on one plate. So if you have to go over it again, you have to go it over again. You just want to ensure that you know the welds really holding both plates together. So if you have to go over it like I do, you do it. So there we go. That's pretty much it now. We've got a nice curve going up there, as you can see. Bloody hell, it's a bit of an effort though, trying to bend this material. It's not as easy as people think. You look at it and think, oh yeah, this should be pretty simple. Can't take you that long, but. All right, so when we really want to like achieve the finished product, the first thing you want to do is, as you, as you can see here, you've created like a little 90 degree angle here. You want the two plates not sitting flush, so it's literally like just a straight corner. You want that little right edge in there, and that's where you go and you fill all the weld in. So as you can see, like the tack welds fill, fill it out. So when you want to get the finished product, what you do, you go through, fill up this whole edge with weld, so it's making it nice and proud. And then what you want to do is you want to go hit it with the router, and then sand it off, and you get a really nice curved finish. So little tacks like this, they'll be all gone, and you'll get a nice, just buffed out, smooth finish. And that's pretty much what you want. So yeah. once you get everything in place, all lined up, that's pretty much what you go over. You do all that and then it looks really good. So it looks fancy. That's one of the later steps, but let's just get everything all filled in. You know, make sure it's all solid. That's the main thing. It, it doesn't have to look the best as long as it, you know, you know it's strong yeah. and you know it's not going to fall apart. Then exactly. That's the main thing. So I cooked that all right today. Yeah, you've Conditions done very well. are a bit extreme, but. <laughs> Oh, nah, it's been alright, so, yeah. So, it's been a pretty hot and long fought day, hasn't it, Bluey? Getting the oh, yeah. side bit in, but, you know, it doesn't look like we've done much, but even just the bow, like, look how far that's come along. So, as much as we want a nice, big, angry-looking boat, we also want a nice, pretty boat as well. Getting it looking <laughs> nice and clean and, and a bit of eye candy, so... We sanded it down, got it looking all flash. It looks really good now. Looks really well done. So, super stoked with how that's come out. Yeah. So, 
Now, Bluey and I are going on a bit of a holidays. <laughs> um, so, Bluey, you're going to Tassie, aren't you, mate? Oh, yeah, seven days of fishing. I'm looking forward to it. Yep, and I'm going to Ben River, and you'd never believe I'd be going fishing as well. So, a <laughs> bit of a fishing trip. So, that's probably a good excuse not to be working on the boat. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, we haven't done as much as we would have liked to, you know, because of holidays and the weather's just been so good. We just want to go out and, you know, party, party, <laughs> go to the beach, all that good stuff. So, no, but we've, you know, chucked quite a few hours at it, been a busy day, no, I reckon we can uh, be pretty happy with what we've, what we've achieved, so. For sure. So make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you follow us, we'll be away for a little bit, but before you know it, we'll have another video out and we'll probably be chucking on the other side gunner or something like that, so <laughs> make sure you stay tuned and catch us on the next video. Cheers guys. Thanks guys.